Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to turn this into this. That's right, we're going to learn how to get custom ground textures into our Game Guru Max scene. And it's very simple. First of all, all we need is a folder with our textures. As you can see, I've got a folder here already that has 16 stylized ground textures in it. Now, as you can see, they're all in PNG format and they are all seamless tileable textures. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back into Game Guru Max. We're going to head up to the top left here and click on Terrain Painting. And then we're going to head over to the right and click on Paint into Editable Area of Terrain. Now we can see our palette. The palette is the textures that we have available for the ground. And I believe that we can go up to 32 textures, but beyond that Game Guru Max will not recognize that many textures. So what we need to do now is we need to click Change Texture Folder. And what I'll do is I'll navigate to where I've actually got that saved. And once I do that very quickly, it will load them in. Now this will take a minute because it has to convert the PNG to DDS for us. Once it's done that, it is going to show up a checkerboard uh, blank ground because it is a bit of a bug at the moment. Uh, but that's very easy to fix and that just actually means that it's worked. So what we actually need to do now is we'll go back to change texture folder again. And when we scroll down, it has terrain textures highlighted, which we'll click on. And ground textures is the folder that I just imported. Now, when I click on that, all of my textures show up in the scene. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Thank you very much for watching today, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And yes, we are back. You can expect to see more Game Guru Max tutorials in the future, as well as if you head over to our other channel, we have game playthroughs and a little bit of game dev downtime for a bit of fun. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.